We're embedding data and analytics in everything we do. It's in all of our products and services. We, we have to go to clients to visualize the decisions they're going to make. We, we're obviously hiring depth of data analytics teams, and there are definitely some of those folks. But we're democratizing it. We're saying that 55,000 people in our organization in the US need to have a base level of data and analytics skills. That's necessary, but not sufficient. If you don't couple that with business acumen, the right ability to communicate, influence, relationships, you need the whole package. Are any of you finding it easy to hire people in data analytics? No, <laughs> no. not a single one. No. No. All, it's all a struggle for all of you. So how are you solving that? What do you do? Well, one of the ways that we're working on that is essentially trying to collaborate with universities to try to look at opportunities where we can work with students who are coming out of analytic backgrounds, statistics, engineering, but not just those areas as well, because you actually need people with subject matter expertise to partner with them. What you do as a company is you start looking at who are the folks who are really good in, in, in looking at the data and curating it so that we can hand over to the next one. And the higher you move in, up the ladder in that, um, the more valuable you're going to get. So we, what we do when we look for people is, who is it that who can come in that can come in and move up the ladder? Thereby, we are building that talent pool and bench. Do they have to be college graduates? Um, y yes, at this point, yes. But I think ho hopefully that will change in the future because. It will, uh, I, I, the reason I say yes is because the, the quantitative rigor that you would need, the critical thinking, critical reasoning skills that you would need, you build that through your college degrees. Now hopefully as we go through the next stage of evolution, we will be able to take some of the skills and teach them early on, either in elementary school levels or through STEM programs, and that should you know, alleviate some of the um, shortage.